Hey guys, Ivan here with the Old School Apps and we finally got some HD photos from the MPC News Online from the Tampa 2020 and we can analyze them, we can review them, not just focus on the uh, live stream videos and photos, uh, screenshots from Instagram and stuff, that's not super accurate, I mean the photos aren't that accurate either, I mean you need to go there and be there, it's much different, I know this from personal experience, it's always different on the photos than it is what you see in a person, especially from that front row where the judges are at, so we can't really judge based on these photos, but what can we do, just not make any videos for YouTube, right, so I, this is my job, I need to do this, I need to make videos, so I'm gonna analyze this photos that I, ha that I have right here and there is a topic of controversy regarding the second spot who actually deserved it there are a lot of people saying that uh, Ian was gifted that second place that he wasn't even supposed to be second and that maybe even Hunter didn't deserve to win there is another guy who was maybe better than both of them this is what people are saying and this is the guy on the right right there uh, in green trunks on the right next to Ian his name is Dwayne Walker. Now we're gonna compare these three guys, not the guy on the left, just these three guys, because they were very close, and we're gonna see who actually deserved what. Uh, was there a robbery, really? So we can uh, take a look at the quarter to the right first, and what do we see here? To be honest, I know this wasn't Ian's best ever, but I like him the most in this pose right here. So first of all, he looks very wide upstairs and he's not too twisted like Dwayne on the right Dwayne is twisted and that why that's why he looks wider than Ian but uh, if he would be in the same position like Ian is he would probably look more narrow uh, Hunter however he has more glute separation uh, his quads may be even bigger and fuller than Ian's uh, but his chest is not as wide and uh, there aren't separation like like Ian has uh, and the wow factor the, 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 that wow factor that Ian has is basically his strength and what is actually so much wow about his physique we will see in the next couple of photos but based on this photo right here I actually have Ian winning and Dwayne <laughs> beating Hunter so I don't like Hunter in this uh, quarter turn let's go with the next quarter turn now in this quarter turn we can see their backs and this time around I do have Hunter beating both of these guys quite easily first of all his glutes are thick and separated so are Dwayne's, but Ian's are not. Now, this is not because he was not conditioned. He was very, very conditioned, but he just uh, didn't peak properly. He wasn't full enough. And for that reason, he seemed flat and he seemed soft. Uh, there are no separation in his hamstrings or his glutes, uh, which is something that we can see on both of the other guys. As far as their backs, Ian definitely looks the worst here. Uh, there is no trap separation. You can't really see where are the lats, where they end, where they start. Uh, however, Hunter is also not very good in this department as far as the lower lats. He should definitely work on that, fix that, but the traps are good. Uh, he's wide upstairs. Dwayne's back here looks probably the best. But overall, the, the structure, the shape, the conditioning, the flow and everything, I think Hunter is a little bit better than him. But Dwayne beats Ian in this one. Let's go to the next one. Another quarter turn to the right, it's just different side than before, and I still do have Ian winning in this in this pose. Uh, Hunter looks better here, but still he doesn't have the width, the small waist, and the wow factor that Ian has. Hunter's legs do look bigger and better, but uh, it's the same story as before, in the same pose. Now we come to the front double bicep, and this is a very bad pose for Ian. We're gonna talk about what makes this pose so bad for him in a moment, in a second, but uh, let's talk about what good he has here, and it is his legs. I mean, when I take a look at his physique, I just can't turn my eyes away from his quads, from his legs. They're looking super freaky, really, really freaky. There is the wow factor. The adductors are so thick, so meaty, and the, the outer sweep, the lateral head of his quadriceps is also crazy and the separation details everything really good quads however if you take a look at upstairs he has big arms but there is no bicep separation between the biceps and triceps there is nothing going on his chest that, that's his probably biggest weakness it was back but i would also say chest and he knows that that was his biggest knock that and back uh, he was afraid before this show, that, that was his biggest fear, that if he comes flat, and that, that happens to him easily, if he, doesn't, uh, if he doesn't fill up properly, he comes flat. The first thing that goes is his chest. His chest just melts away. It just looks super flat, and when he spreads his arms like this, when he spreads that chest, 
It looks like he has no chest muscle. It's just a big void right there. And the waist also doesn't look super small in this pose. On the side poses, his waist looks super small, but uh, there is no good weed taper. The lats are not popping very much. Not a good pose for him. I definitely have him last in this one. Now it's between, it's between Dwayne and Hunter. And it's very close. It's very close. But because of the narrow waist, uh, the better weed taper, I would go with Hunter. Pretty much that's it. That's it. They both have really good quads. I don't know who has better quads. I mean, maybe Hunter has a bit thicker adductors, but... The details all over the quads, maybe Dwayne is better in that department. He has better abs, he's probably more conditioned. Um, as far as the arms, I guess Hunter is better, but the only reason why I go with Hunter in this one is the weed taper. Everything else, mm, it's, it's pretty much close that I wouldn't be able to determine if there wasn't for a better weed taper on Hunter. So yeah, very, very close one. Now we come to the front lat spread, and it seems like that Ian and Hunter are closer to the camera than Dwayne, but Dwayne looks bigger here than both of them. And his quads are deeply separated, more, more so than both of these guys. The, separa the separation is deeper, yeah. The stomach looks leaner, there is no water or fat on it, so this pose I give to him actually. Definitely not Ian, Ian again looks horrible in this one, because of the chest, there is no separation. Also, the, 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 the arms and the shoulders, there is no separation between, sh between shoulders and biceps and triceps. Uh, the chest is non-existent, there is no pop in that chest, and no separation in the, in the abs. Quads, legs are looking good, but that's it, that's it. Waist above, just not good, not very good. Even him at his best, he doesn't look good at his pose. But now, this is probably him at his flattest ever. Yeah, not not very good. It's between Hunter and and Dwayne here, and uh, I, I I mean it's very close again. But I will give it to Dwayne actually. This one, this one goes to Dwayne because he has better a V taper in this one. His lats are popping more. They are low inserted. He's really wide through the shoulders, and he has everything. He has deep separation in the quads. He has arms. He has chest that is popping. He's conditioned. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he looks. I think he looks most dominant here. This is the pose that in my prediction video I said Ian is going to annihilate anybody who stands next to him. And there are some freaky looking body parts on him, such as his glutes. Look at the glutes, how straight and separated and lean they are. Really lean glutes. Uh, but then again, if you take a look at Hunter's overall legs and glutes and everything, it's pretty close. It's fuller. It's actually fuller. It's not as dry as Ian's glutes, I mean, but fuller. And therefore probably better. Uh, then again, take a look at the chest, like Ian's chest looks like he, he has been working out for a year or something like that. The chest is super, super weak and the arms much fuller on Hunter. So I definitely do have Hunter just destroying Ian here. It's not about Ian versus Hunter anymore. It's more so about Ian versus Dwayne. Maybe even Dwayne versus Hunter. <laughs> we'll see in the end of the video. But uh, as for now, I mean, Dwayne doesn't have the angle right here. He's too far away. Maybe he was afraid not to catch <laughs> COVID. But uh, here you can see that Ian probably looks better. I mean, not in the chest department, but the legs are just looking much drier, much more separated. I wasn't there, the angle is off a little bit, uh, Dwayne doesn't have the best angle, but based on what I see right here, I will go with Ian. Even though Dwayne is fuller, and probably, I mean, he has better pop, therefore he maybe seems a little bit more conditioned in the upstairs area, uh, but for the legs, the, the glute striations, and overall freak factor, I would give it to Ian. This is the pose that Ian was knocked for quite a bit. It was a very big pose for him. He said that he improved and he definitely did improve it. It looks better. It looks thicker. His back looks better. Uh, there, is a, there is a lot of separation and you can see that it is very lean. However, his glutes are not very separated because of that flatness. And um, is it between him and Hunter? No, no. Hunter destroys him in this one. I don't even want to go through this. Much better back, thicker glutes, more conditioned glutes and hamstrings, everything is popping, I mean, really good pose for Hunter. But this one, I mean, <laughs> Dwayne could be winning this one. Dwayne could be beating even Hunter in this one, because he has deeper separation. I mean, his back is thicker from this side, if you take a look at it. I mean, there is a lot more muscle than both of these guys, really. And the glutes are bigger, right? They remind me of Ronnie Coleman's glutes. They're not short. I mean, there is actually another muscle between the glutes and the hamstrings. 
if you Google human anatomy, you will find out what is the name of it. But basically right here on Cedric McMillan, you can see the separation between the glutes and that little muscle right there. The thing is, some bodybuilders have this muscle more prominent, such as Ronnie Coleman, for example, or Cedric right here. And also Dwayne Walker right here. Ian doesn't have it, nor does Hunter. So that's, that's the anatomy, that's the genetics. And it looks really good. I mean, his glutes look bigger. And also he has more better separation than any in, in the hamstrings and the glutes and the back. Let's not even talk about that. So maybe he even beats Hunter, but let's say Hunter looks more compact here. He hits the pose better. He has a better flow, uh, but Dwayne definitely looks better than Ian. Back lat spread. Out of all these three guys, I give this one to Dwayne. He absolutely deserves this one. I mean, he has thicker lower lats than Hunter. Uh, he has better um, trap separation than Ian, he has better glutes, better glute to hamstring tie-in, uh, his glutes are more separated than um, anybody here, really, he, he's probably in the best condition, he has the widest back, the best lower lats, he absolutely deserves this one. I mean, as far as uh, Ian versus Hunter, of course, Hunter, but <laughs> Dwayne looks better here than both of them, than both of them, yeah, let's go with the next one. Hunter looks really good in a side tricep. He looks really extraordinary. He looks really amazing in this one. Really thick, complete, conditioned, detailed, everything. I give him this pose. And uh, <laughs> as far as Ian versus Dwayne, I mean, it, it is obvious, isn't it? I think it is. Even though Ian is known for this pose, he failed to deliver this time around. His chest is non-existent, it's super flat, and his arms too, just compare his triceps to Dwayne's triceps, and the chest too, and the abs, I mean, the legs, okay, maybe he has a little bit better legs, but not that much, not as much as his upper body is worse than Dwayne's, so, this pose, Hunter wins, second place Dwayne, let's go to the next one. Abs and thighs, and you guys might be thinking Ian didn't even flex properly, but this is the best that it gets, from all the photos, this is it. He didn't flex any better than this. And it took him a while to actually hit the pose. While he was preparing, Dwayne was doing the other version, the, the regular version of the absent eyes, which looks much better than this one, by the way. But even in this one, he's better than Ian. Hunter is definitely better than both of them, so Hunter deserves a victory. But absent eyes, I mean, Dwayne versus Ian. Dwayne. Dwayne looks better, yeah. The last pose that we're gonna analyze today is the most muscular pose and uh, with certainty I think we can say that Hunter absolutely deserved this victory over this show. Uh, he did not uh, just win it because of the politics, he wasn't gifted the, the victory because of his dad. No, no, he deserved it, he looked the best uh, in this pose as well, he looks better than everybody here. Um, there is uh, something wrong with his uh, left pack, can you see it? It was a pack there for sure. I don't know when it happened. I think I read in comments that he injured himself even before he started his bodybuilding career. So it's a, it's a injury from a long distant past, but uh, it's visible. It's visible in many poses actually. So it does hurt him a little, but not that much. It's not that bad. Um, he looks the best here. This is one of Ian's signature poses. And what he has right here is wow factor when it comes to legs, firstly. His legs are looking absolutely freaky right here, and upstairs, he looks, I mean, he looks weird. What the hell is going on with his chest? It looks deformed, it looks flat, it looks small, not even well conditioned, not super separated. His arms too, so I give this pose to Dwayne, actually. He looks better here. Uh, Ian maybe has that wow factor that everybody's talking about, and I guess that could be the reason why the judges gave it to him. It also could be just the fact that he's a known bodybuilder, that he has a name, that he has been hyped uh, to actually win the show, or the photos are not doing him justice. Maybe he looks better in person, uh, but it is what it is. I mean, the photos are pretty good. This is pretty high quality footage. So you can see, you can see right here in the most muscular as well, that Dwayne was more complete. And I do think that the robbery happened. I'm not saying it's the robbery, maybe it's just uh, the judging kind of went bad. I don't see a lot of reasons why Ian should actually win uh, the second place. I'm pretty sure the judges believe that he is better, but I think they made the wrong decision. Maybe they overlooked this guy. We didn't see uh, a call out between, for example, Ian and him. We should have seen that. Just Ian and him. Just leave Hunter aside. I would love to have seen that, but it didn't happen. But based on what we can see right here, 
I think he looks better. I think he deserved it. I think uh, he was a little bit robbed. But if he stays consistent, I'm sure he will, you know, come out as a winner at one of the shows eventually. And beat Ian, too. I mean, if Ian doesn't improve, if he comes like this again. So, yeah, yeah. If your question is, was there a robbery? It seems like there was. I mean, I wouldn't really put it that way, a robbery, because I'm not sure what happened. But because I wasn't there, I'm just looking at the photos. Maybe it was a bad judging. Maybe... Maybe actually Ian looked better in, 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 in person, you know, live. But based on these photos, I definitely do prefer Twain. I think he looked better. So whatever you guys think. Who deserved the victory? Who deserved the second place? Who was supposed to be third or fourth? Whatever. And just tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best, guys. And keep it old school.